We're a group of people as Christians who are called to be vital, intelligent, strong, and powerful. We're not called to be racist or prejudiced. Sadly enough, in this world, Islamic phobia is becoming as rampant as phobias over race were in the past or sexuality. I had the blessing of being with about 20 religious leaders along with our suffragan bishop, Mary Glasspool, today. And we listened to wonderful experiences that we all shared because they weren't all Christians. There were Jews and Muslims and we shared our continued loving heart with one another. We shared how we as individuals have the same guidelines to live by, yet they're from three different books that we depend upon. All over Germany and in Spain, as Mary and I and my beloved wife traveled in those areas, there was uproar about the possibility of an American pastor with 50 people in his congregation burning Korans in Florida. People asked us as Americans, how do you feel about that? If he was informed, he wouldn't be burning the Koran. Today, being with those religious leaders, I knew that I was in the right place. In a community of faith where there were Roman Catholics, Lutherans, Presbyterians, Brethren, United Church of Christ, Muslims, and Jews. And we all had a common heart and a common mind for the love of God. All three of those books teach the same things. That we're called to love all humanity, that we're called to share the heart of God with every other human being we come in contact with, that we're called to be in dialogue and share where God is leading us and draw others to that path. One of our brothers, Shaquille Saeed, uh, shared with me the fact uh, that they're having open houses at mosques. And he asked if I would carry this card back to our diocese and ask all of you to come visit a mosque. Not take a mosque as a proselytize, take, go to a mosque as a proselytizing event, but go to a mosque to see what it's like. Go to a place of open worship. Go to a place of caring for other people. The two combined are from the Jewish perspective and the Islamic perspective. Oh, if we could only be a bridge between the two of them as the Christians. And we could be people of peace, grace, love, compassion, and understanding.